I'm here today with my saw stop 10 inch professional cabinet saw, which is the main tool in my workshop. And I want to walk through some of the very basics of this table saw, like what are the parts and what do they do. Obviously the business end of this is a blade. The blade is a 10 inch, 10 inch round blade and it goes on to an arbor that's below the table. So the surface of the table, uh, you can't see, uh, you, you see less than half of the blade above the surface. There's an arbor. Uh, an arbor is simply a shaft and it runs into this section of the housing down below where there's a motor that turns the arbor, which in turn turns the blade. And it's the blade, obviously, that does the cutting. So in order to enable us to cut more accurately, uh, on the surface of the saw, first of all, there's two different surfaces here. This surface over here is cast iron, uh, and it's, it is machined to be perfectly flat. This over here, the black part, is a different material. It is not metal. It is a non-metallic surface, but it also is very flat. But since it's further away from the blade, how flat this is, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. It just has to be very close to flat. So back here on the metal part of our, of our table saw top, there are two slots. And these slots uh, are roughly U-shaped with a couple of grooves underneath that you can't really see. They're called miter slots, and they're called miter slots because this is a miter gauge, and it fits into the miter slot, either on the left-hand side of the saw blade or to the right of the saw blade. And the purpose of a miter gauge is to hold the wood in the correct alignment with the blade. In most cases, it's 90 degrees, although you can skew this and make angled cuts using this uh, miter gauge as well. So running the, the, uh, the narrower part of the board through the blade using a miter gauge in the miter slot is called a cross cut. And I can do that, as I said, either on the left side or I can do that on the right side of the blade, like so. The other way that you use the table saw to cut is to do what's called a rip. And a rip means that you're cutting on the long edge, the long surface of the board. So instead of cross cutting it, you edge cut it. And to do that, we use a rip fence. This is a rip fence and you put the rip fence the appropriate distance from the blade and then using some kind of a holding tool like this, you pass the uh, board lengthwise through making a rip cut. And we have on the saw, we have uh, wheels uh, handles and wheels that raise the blade and lower the blade so we can go anywhere from near zero all the way up to a bit less than half of the 10 inch, uh, half of the radius of the 10 inch saw blade, which is somewhat less than five inches closer to four. There's also another wheel on the right hand side of the cabinet down below that allows us to turn that wheel and change the angle of the blade. And I'm talking about the angle like that so that we can then pass wood through either in a rip or cross cut and come out with an angled surface. This plumbing up here is dust collection, which allows me to connect to uh, a blade guard and pull dust off of it. And at the bottom of the back of the saw is a four inch port. And this is the main dust collection port uh, of the saw. And we connect a dust collection hose to that. 
uh, to remove the, the sawdust from the cabinet of the saw and to keep it out of the air so that you're not breathing it. So those are the basics of a table saw. Uh, if you like the content, please hit the like button and we encourage you to subscribe so that we can keep you posted on future content.